Good morning and welcome to Love Every Moment, coming to you today from the Shaker Village in Auburn, Kentucky. Today's verse is 1 Peter 1.17. If you address as Father the one who impartially judges according to each one's work, conduct yourselves in fear during the time of your stay on earth. Now this is coming after last week's two verses, which I have up here, that said basically, you're going to be holy because I'm going to make you holy. I'm working in you, and my spirit in you is going to cause you to be holy. It's not even going to be anything you do. It's my work in you. Now with that in mind, we get to this. If you address as Father the one who impartially judges according to each one's work. So if we call God our Father, if we are claiming to be Christians, have followers of God, then he's the one who does the judging, and it makes sense that we should be hands off, because again, like we just found out, it's his work and not ours. Let's look at a couple of cross-references here. The first one is John twelve forty eight. He who rejects me and does not receive my sayings has one who judges him. The word I spoke is what will judge him at the last day. Now, he who rejects me, Jesus says. So if we reject Jesus, we have someone that's going to judge him, and it's not us. It's him. Remember a verse that I often point out is the last part of the Sermon on the Mount in Matthew 7 that talks about there's going to be people that say, gee, we did all this amazing stuff. We cast out demons. We prophesied. We did this amazing Christianity stuff. And Jesus is going to say, I never knew you. Depart from me. He's going to reject them. Because why? They, they rejected him. And this is a real revelation for some people that you can practice Christianity and look pretty holy and yet not know Jesus. You can still reject Jesus and yeah, go about practicing your version of Christianity. And it's a bad thing to do. Let's look at another one. Let's see here. How about Romans 2 1? Therefore, you have no excuse, every one of you who passes judgment, for in that which you judge another, you condemn yourself, for you who judge practice the same things. We got to be very careful to make sure that. Judgment is God's business. It's not ours. And of course, it's easy for us to be judgmental because we have the Bible, for example, and we can see what the Bible says, and we can look at that guy and say, hey, he's not doing X, Y, and Z. He's going to hell. Well, it might be true that he's not doing X, Y, and Z, but we don't know what his eternal destination is. That's God's business. Our job is to love that person, to show him scripture, to help him get his relationship right with the Lord in love. And that's the way it should be done, not by judging. Judging doesn't get uh, anywhere, especially when I do it, because it's usually wrong. <laughs> Let's look at uh, back to the main verse here. The second part of the verse says, conduct yourselves in fear during your stay on earth. Now, conduct yourselves in fear. That fear, of course, should not mean a terror that I'm going to lose my salvation and go to hell. It should be the proper respect. This is serious. we got to make sure that we have the right and proper relationship with Jesus. Let's look at 2 Corinthians 7. 1. Therefore, having these promises, beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all defilement of flesh and spirit, with a small s, perfecting holiness, that's going back to the First Peter stuff, in the fear of God. Again, it's not our work, it's his. He's going to do the perfecting. We just got to go along with his program. Now, finally, for those who are uh, fearful and terrified that they're going to lose their salvation, let's look at a verse that I uh, taught a long time ago. The first John 4.18 There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, because fear involves punishment. And the one who fears is not perfected in love. If we set as our rock and our standard and the center of our lives our love for him, then we don't have to walk about with fear that we're going to lose our salvation. He's going to perfect that holiness in us, and that's going to be his business. What a glory. So let's choose to love every moment, because then we're going to love every moment. I'm your Reverend Dretch, and I hope you have a great week.